Hello everyone and welcome to this video again. This is an 8 channel USB output book converter. Uh, it's kind of a variant of the one I showed you a few days ago. The one I showed you a few days ago is better quality I'd say, but this one is uh, has more USB uh, sockets so you can charge more, charge or power more devices. So it's a step down thing like the other one was, um, but we'll find out more about it now. So to start with there's a picture of it. And you can see that there are two terminal blocks in this one and the holes cut out. Two MOSFETs, only one coil and some input and output capacitors. Um, so this one is almost $14, which I think that's about £10 or something, 10 Great British Pounds. And uh, that's what it says. So it says, uh, anti-reverse, high efficiency over current protection over temperature, H channel output, multiple devices at the same time, stable output, blah blah blah, two wiring methods, yeah okay, uh, you can you can either connect to the terminal block or you can use the little uh, circular plug. Uh, so step down charging, work voltage 8 to 40 volts this time, the other one was 6 to 35, this one's 8 to 40, so it's slightly wider uh, working voltage. Output voltage 5 volts, as it would be because it's USB. Output current 10 amps max. 10 amps max. So it says 5 there, uh, but over here 10 amps max. That's interesting. Um, it doesn't say a great deal else. If you're using a battery, blah, blah, blah. The maximum output current is 5 amps for one USB interface. Mobile charging is usually 1 to 2 amps. It will only output 1 if your device's charging current is only 1. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, power bank, mobile phone, uh, tablet recorder, and there's a view of how the thing looks. So yeah, this one does have quite a big heat sink, or it says radiator uh, heat sink. More pictures there. So yeah, so again, this was given to me from uh, IC station or by IC station. So again, thanks for that. Um, I'm going to put the link at the bottom of the description uh, so you can see it if you want to. But now I'm going to go over to the camera and show you uh, in more depth. You see it's got a very nice shiny, I think it's acrylic case. Again there's a little crack there, you can't actually feel it. But it's there of course. There's the bottom and it's got these cool um, things. I can't remember what they're called now. But um, there's the heat sink input. Uh, PCB terminal and the socket. Presumably that's the output. Yeah, it is output ground and 5 volts plus. We've got four cheap, well, not cheap, but the lower quality sockets. I'll show you the other ones. These ones are slightly better, you see. There's like a lip on the, on the top and the bottom and all that to help you guide the USB thing in. Not that it matters. And we've got another four there, so there are eight Output capacitors, input capacitors, a chip, it's not been scrubbed, oh that's interesting. LM2511S, another chip that's not been scrubbed there. SUB75N06. And then we've got two resistors in there, R010, and a coil. Presumably they are MOSFETs. Um, so there you go, uh, that's the device, I suppose I should test it out now. So the first thing to do is of course plug that in. I've got my DC power supply here, my trusty DC power supply. So what is it? 8 volts to 40 volts. So I'll go for 20 volts. Okay, and things lighting up. <coughs> now what am I going to do here? Uh, Hmm. Um, I will plug some devices in. <coughs> so I'll just zoom this thing out so you can see my desk. Right. Now, what have I got here? So 
So what have we got charging here? We've got this. Let's just check it. Yep, the LEDs there. We've got the phone, the tablet, the power bank. Yeah, the power bank is blinking, and the Bluetooth headphones. There's the light. So it's drawing just over an amp at 20 volts, which yeah is about it's just over 20 watts five and um, five ten fifteen twenty twenty five yeah that's about right yeah so I guess I'll just leave it for a while and well I guess the best thing to do is wait for everything to charge and see what happens all right so it's been a while and uh, all of the devices are charged so let's see if it's hot or anything I suppose that's something you'd look out for turn that off like these. Yeah, everything's charged. No, nothing's hot. Okay, so um, all is good. Anyway, so this is the power supply unit uh, or book converter, um, USB book converter power supply thing. I'm not exactly sure what what I should call it, but um, this is the device and uh, it seems to work pretty well so um, yeah thanks for watching as normal and I'll see you soon bye